technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain! Sorry. No, I will not. Now, do you have it? How much of the brain do you need, exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Were you going to say something? Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. 
What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mm, what a joke. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Kong. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft. Oh, I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now... People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I find 
found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never liked to. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. The eggheads never like taking orders from a... dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it over? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I got him! Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. 
Big heads never like. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. Hello. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home with my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Looks promising. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. Not much else. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together, in case either of us missed anything. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, 
I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two, huh? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? Wait. Are you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. There's something wrong with you, Nick. I don't want you with me. I told you I'm fine. But I get it. I'll be in Diamond City. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back to the office next chance we get.